I do invite uh, Mr. O'Conroy Dolok Saribu, and I apologize if I stumble on the name. I'm blaming my missing voice. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Good afternoon for all. Your Excellency Minister Rimbing Pato, Foreign, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Immigration of the Papua New Guinea Republic State. It is a great honor for all of us to have your Excellency's presence here in the midst of our workshop. It is a very clear indication and milestone for us about uh, to show the commitment of the uh, PNG for the uh, serious uh, attention for the OGP CSO. And I would like also to acknowledge uh, um, <coughs> Honorable Mr. Samson Yabon, the Director Asia ASEAN Bilateral Division, Department of Foreign Affairs. And of course, uh, distinguished Mr. Lawrence Stevens, uh, chairman of the Transparency International PNG. And I would also like uh, to say thank you to the, uh, Mrs. Susan Nadal from the Asian Development Bank and also to Madam Emily, uh, the Executive uh, Director of the Trade uh, uh, Transparency International PNG. I would like also uh, to thanks to our, to my one talk, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sugeng Bahagio, Executive Director in FIP, Steering Committee Civil Society Organization, Open Government Partnership, and as well, Mr. Dadang Trisa Songko, Secretary General of the Transparency International Indonesia, Ms. Nanda Sihombing, oh, our workers, Manager of the Pakilo, and as well also Mr. Bejo Untung, Program Officer of Patiro, and distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let's praise the God Lord for His mercy and generosity, who endows us with good health and strong spirit to commence, conduct, and finalize our endeavor of organizing a two days workshop or open government partnership with each particular team bringing together civil society and governments to join OGP. It is really a privilege to me to have an opportunity of conveying a closing remarks, one of the closing remarks for you. And I note it with high appreciation for the whole hospitalities rendered by the PNG Workshop Organizing Committee, and which is in cooperation with many other PNG organizations, have made perfect our proceedings. I also commend the eagerness of all participants who have committed to contributing many ideas and suggestions during the in-depth discussion that, that, that we have done before. The public roles of Martin, of Mr. Martin Gras, the meeting facilitator that I consider also one of the main protagonists of these workshops. Uh, together and hand in hand with Mr. Sugan, Mr. Dadang, Mr. Na Ms. Nanda and Mr. Untung, obviously have made our workshop a uh, successful. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, during the workshop, many subjects ha have been discussed. One, the meaningful partnership between civil society and the government. Two, benefits from OGP that we can take. And eligibility of the criteria. And sharing good practices of transparency, participation, and accountability. And then also lesson learning on OGP's 
practices and many more. To me in particular, our discussion and lesson learnings have been opening wider of my personal perspectives on how important is the virtue values containing in OGP with CSO. Some of them I may highlight as one, the need of transparency in administration public works and trusts. Two, the need to enhance the public participation. The three, a must of performing good accountability by all public officials and members of society. And the need to fully pay attention to the response of society as a feedback in improving the government accountabilities. I also noted with high appreciation what has been given by the lesson learning that we may be mentioned as to gain a successful in OGP achievements. If we can tackle the OGP grant challenges, such as one, improving public services, two, increasing public integrity, three, managing public resources, four, securing community safeness and justice, and also enhancing public accountability. Those parameters, among others, give the understanding that we have to try continuously to increase the fiscal transparency, access information, assess, assets disclosure, and citizen engagements, so that the values of the GB with CSO may be achieved. In this particular matter, allow me to congratulate the BNG for its for its successful in achieving a standard of eligibility to be a participating country of OGP. I am sure for the next very short time, the PNG will also able to convey its letter of content, letter of intent to be a participating country of OGP. I am convinced also in the future, Indonesia and PNG may work together in harmonious partnership to pursue our objective to improve the living prosperity of our people through the OGP with CSO. Many evidence have proved that the close cooperation and dialogues intensively between the government and civil society organization may help to reduce the suspicious and distrustful for the betterment of our society prosperity. May God always be with us and strengthen us to implement all the good things we have done. Thank you so much.